really try to immerse myself. We'll see what comes of it. You see Julia. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You are, you, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. I decide to approach her. I am drunk. Option one. So, what's your, you know, major? Option two, you, you're pretty. I think I'm gonna go with option one. You slur the word major and it smells like Coors. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she, sa she says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she says. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? Was that a burn, you ask? She says definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks if you want to she asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. skipping and screen tearing, so I'll see if I can't fix that in a little bit. Let's put our gear in the truck bed. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with the view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia's in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking in this dog. It's a badass. Do we get the beagle named Bucket or the Shepherd and name him Mayhem? I'm gonna go with the shepherd. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though she's too big, he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet all rolled into one. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off, the, off of the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids? They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots. Option one, one that would be pretty good. And option two, one day, why rush? In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. 
These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Got my backpack. It's a Thursday night. This is 1980, one year later. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She hasn't called. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Do I, should we get mad or should we get, ignore her? not really sure. Since I don't know enough about the situation, I think I should just ignore her. You don't touch each other all, all- You don't touch each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to that tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. Julia still likes to draw, 1981. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. Let's pose and flex like He-Man. We look awesome. Too late. This is gorgeous. Just look at that. Look, look at this shit. Just, just stare at that for a little while. Fucking beautiful. Eight more miles. That's a long hike, wow. Climb over this here, uh... Little fat man climb over that ledge. Er, bog. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Mayhem runs away. May, me, me, fuck! D d dog Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. Let's beat his face in. Your arm gets cut up. But you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before, they got, before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate Department Chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commutes back and forth. 
Last one seems a little tough, so I'll have to try to convince her not to take it. You tell her that this means you two won't have a family. She says that's bullshit. She's totally right. She asks if her taking the job won't means you won't come with her. You say yes. Again, bullshit. But she decides not to take it. Julia is asked to leave Boulder on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember that she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. As a reasonable adult, I'm going to go with the, la the, with the first option which is, you say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. You decide to keep it a secret for now. Let's read the journal. Liam is getting older. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. You and Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in, her cla in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She's also sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days, you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days, you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You can count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia should live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple months. Wow. Um. <sighs> option one, you decide to move her into a full-time care facility. And option two, you are determined to kick, take care of her by yourself. Let's, um, let's move her into a home. Gorgeous. Oops.
how lush it all looks. family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day. Then, every other day. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. You slowly decide not to see your fr old friends that much. Fuck those people. 1989. Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close with to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan. Oh boy. Months go by. Mayhem dies. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less, and seeing her less and less makes you, her forget you more. You think. Summer is coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. We're here, at Two Forks Lookout. I think for now, there's not much we can do in this area. So, we're gonna follow things pretty much by the book for a little bit. Do we get a good area? Do we get a good understanding of our surroundings? There's the outhouse there. Trail leading down there. That was graceful. is it's henry right yeah i'm delilah yeah that's what the guy said on the phone so what's wrong with you excuse me people take this job to get away from something so what's wrong what's wrong with you that's a great idea go ahead look i just hiked for two days so i don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now you take a stab at what's wrong with me Fine, then can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Okay, quick decision here. Uh, let's go with the... Uh, yeah, this okay, one. you're probably out here because nobody back home can stand you. Which, after this brief introduction, is oh. not a big shock. That was ruder uh, than I thought. I'll chalk that up to you being tired and grumpy. Well, I'd better get some sleep then. <laughs> One sec. Now <laughs> it's my turn. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but maybe you just really like trees. Maybe it's. Gosh, maybe it's a borderline fetish. A tree fetish. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Firewatch, day one. Um, you give me a moment here. Good morning, Henry. Well, 
I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Just gonna wait. I wanna, I wanna watch him fidget and see how much fidgeting he does. Sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Hey, look, a round thing. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Ah, compass. Are those fucking fireworks? Uh, oh yeah, hey there. Look at that. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Secure. Shut up. <laughs> um, I have no idea where that is. Uh, I don't have a map other than this thing right here, and I don't... I can just stare at this, but it's not really gonna help. Um... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Can't pick that up. Hold on, give me one sec, because this is tearing a lot for me, so I'm gonna switch this real quick. Interesting. Okay. Look at the settings really quick. Turn that off. I'm getting a lot of uh, screen tearing on my screen. I know you guys can't see it, but it was kind of bothering me. So sometimes just taking off VSync helps with that. That looks like El Capitan. Here we go. Cash box 306. Okay. Oh, it looks like they sort of remove the functionality where you needed... Oh, no, nope, still kinda. That's good. I think this is really cool where the shadows affect the map. If you're in a cave, you can't see it. Because it's too dark. Okay, anyway. Uh, we're going this way. We're just gonna follow this trail. to cache 306. And then we're gonna go down to the lake, I think. Right? Yeah. That'll do anything. Kinda want it to. Fat guy hop. Just a little, little 
little thing over here. Walk the trail. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm hmm Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. <laughs> so snotty. So are there a lot of these out in the woods? Yeah, we got them all over the Shoshone. They saved us a lot of back and forth from the trailhead. Don't take all the good stuff. Yeah, all right. Interesting. Ron. Hey, man. Guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Linked one of those bars you linked. Found one of those bars you linked. You liked. Wow. Hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back. Interesting. Hey, I found a note to a guy named Ron from some guy Dave. That's probably Dave Gaskell. He's completely nuts. Is that right? Harmless, but yeah. One of those, you know, fall off the grid and eat ants for a week type. Totally fucking cuckoo. Which is kind of what the job attracts. People just stuff these things with old food? That's how you get bears. Those boxes are bear proof. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, bad things happened in your birth year, Clint. How do you feel? Do you feel bad? I don't think I'm on the right way right now. Oh, uh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Edison wheel, interesting. I think the shale is in that section right here, in the middle of that topo map, just after Lake Trail. Interesting, I wonder if there's... Hmm. I guess it doesn't really matter which way I take. Oh wow, damn, you run fast. Yeah, you really botched that one, damn. What's over here? This vista is incredible. <laughs> Which one? Uh, down the hill from my tower. And there's a canyon and then the rest of... Well, <laughs> everything. Yeah, you should see what I'm looking at. An eagle has been hovering over this gorge for the past hour. <laughs> and maybe if you're good, you can come by and see it at the end of the summer. Cute. I think she just invited me over. We in there, boys. We did it. Low effort. Fucking, I, you should end the game right there. This is kind of weird. I feel like there should be things over here and not... Wait, what? What is that jingling? Is that the fireworks? It's like over this way. I'm not crazy, right? There must be something on top of this rock. every banal thing I see to her, so, well, I guess. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? 
Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500-pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. Christ, lady. Yeah, those were definitely chime noises, so I'm kind of wondering if there's something there. Uh, this shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. Yeah, well, I'd go with Widowmaker. Come on, it's really not that bad. It's a 50-foot cliff made of rocks that look like knives. They just look <laughs> like knives, okay? <laughs> Plus, there's already a Widowmaker on the backside of Carter Mountain. It would be confusing. <laughs> This whole game is banter, and I love it. I don't know if I'm supposed to hold space. Okay. Hopefully, nothing bad happens. Ooh, it's getting darker. No, oh, no! there we go. That's a fall. You young viewers at home might have not known that was coming, however... Yeah, dude, there's, it's all, it's all tons of stuff. And there's also, I mean, if you watch the videos before this, they've already changed some of the dialogues. And I've noticed, I've like noticed already that, oh shit, I, I lost, I missed my chance. Oh fuck. <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, I've noticed already that they've rearranged dialogue. Uh just within this, the time that we've played. So, I'm out of rope now. Uh, hey, there's a tie-off point off here, just a little away from the shale slide. Oh, well, you ready to get back on that horse, huh? Well, I can't go any further, is what I'm saying. That heads south down to the creek, but you should be able to get to the lake just by continuing west. Without any, you know, mountaineering. Alright. It's a long summer. You can explore later. Looks like a dialogue option sounded like it continued after I told her that I had fallen, so I think the game assumes you tell her. So it looks like that isn't necessarily a super important dialogue point. Anyway, let's get back to the task at hand. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. What this? Wasting time. What if they start a fire? Oh! <gasps> <laughs> what the hell? I'm doing a crossword and I figured out the theme. It's homonyms. Pears, pears, pears. The clue was couples peeling fruit. <laughs> anyway, hope you're having a good afternoon. <clears throat> Thanks. Wow. That was a little weird transition there on the screen. Whoa, oh my gosh, okay. That would be why there was a weird transition, because I got caught on the ledge. All these motherfuckers. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans, they threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. I'm gonna become a collector of beer cans. 
What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What? You don't like a cold Moscow light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. <laughs> they left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Gonna take these. More beer can. Well, I wish I could put this out. Oh, I can't. Wait, I can't? I can't? Why won't you let me stomp it out? Being a good park ranger. Doing my service. Aww. This it gets better. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Alright. Whoa, okay, please. Uh, Shadows. Are, uh, I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Teens. They are drunk. Oh boy. Enjoy dealing with that. Don't pull any more shit or you're fucked, alright? Don't threaten us. Who the hell are you, creep? Oh, he's just one of those lonely guys who likes to boss people around. You don't know a damn thing about me. We know you're a peeping Tom. How long are you even standing over there? Oh my god, is that what you are? Mark me out! Ew! Can we just get out of here? I didn't really like how that second line went, so I wasn't really sure how to follow it up with any of those dialogue options. Oh, where's the moon box? There it is. Hey, that go okay? It's done. Well, that's ominous. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. What a jam, dude. Any chance of those kids getting a disease in this lake? Like diphtheria or consumption or... <laughs> consumption? Not if they're not 19th century chimney sweeps, no. You know, whatever. I mean, if they drank a bunch, Giardia maybe, but probably not this time of year. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. I'm guessing I'm gonna find one of these boxes where the code is not one, three, one, two, three, four at some point in the game. Do you recognize this song? I I do not. Oh wait, yeah, okay. Nice. I get this now. Old sweater, University of Eastern Colorado. Another note. Ron, got some bad news back home. So hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say though? Budgets being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you might might have got you must have got hung up. P.S. Amigos in is Spanish and Profesionales is Italian. I should probably copy all these trail maps. I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. There's a University of Eastern Colorado? I really don't think there is. Why would somebody make that up? Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. Throw this in the water. Well, 
while, this lake does seem like a good spot to swim, even if the last people to do so were assholes. Yeah, right now, though, it's all snow melt, so you'll freeze your balls off. But as hot as it's been, maybe that's a fair trade. It's starting to feel though. like it. I am going to take this with me. And there's nothing you can do about it. Alright, where the fuck am I? Oh, I took the high road. Can't climb down here, so I gotta go back this way. I take it you fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort? When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here? Uh, sorry, I don't really know what you mean by recruiting effort. Oh, after last summer. You know, budgets went through the roof, a lookout, and every lookout for the first time in 20 years. Last summer? Oh, come on, you're from Denver, not Delaware. This was national news for Pete's sake. Boulder. I'm from Boulder. Same diff. Oh, you're talking about that um, giant fire that probably caused some damage. Turned a, an entire jamboree of brownies to dust. Brownies don't have jamborees. Wow. Well, they should. And you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, do you? I do not. Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Yellowstone is like... What, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. What a tearing. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. And Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news? I mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the Gipper? So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't gonna burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. If the goddamn park can burn down again. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Yeah, I'm not sure I got a lot of choice in getting struck down. Especially not with your electric personality. Ugh. Hmm, I see my joke did not spark your sense of humor. Ugh. What, you're not enjoying our current conversation? Oh, I'm just gonna let her have that one. a horn or an antler or whatever. Well, antlers are made of bone and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring.
wonder if I shouldn't go this way. Yeah, probably not. Oh man. Yeah, this only goes one way. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. I love that. This cave is gated off. It stops spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, yeah, fuck that says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, sorry, Hank. Hello! <laughs> I bless the rains down in Africa! Oh! Aw, there's no more. I do kind of wish these climbs were a little more interactive, but what are you going to do? Now we go up a hill, and we're back. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Spooky. Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Spooky. <gasps> He's gone. Woo! here. I think that's the right way to go, but I want to go this way. This seems fun. I mean, the point is to explore, right? Yeah, if I killed an animal, I'd probably take it back with me. Glad those trails met up. Oh, that would mean that whoever was up there had to come the same way. Probably. isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hairdryer? 
Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with Frizzy Locks. I could never. Um, so it's, uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Lovely. Oh boy. Uh... What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell... You should get inside. Fuck me. Someone broke in. Hey, what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. I put this back. Oh, wow. Jeez, will you calm down? Okay, I put in a call. Okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I've done it before. Okay, tough guy. Day two. Wake up. Hey, wake up. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger, and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay. All right. Okay, then. Let's go. Oh, that's the wrong way, okay. We want to go back.
It's not this way, but I want to go down here a little bit. See what's see what's down here. Now is a pretty good time to look around. I feel like. Great sound design, Jesus. Ooh, that wind last night actually tore up some trees near my tower. I know, right? Ugh, it's out of this world. Now, imagine we had a big fire burning. Yeah. Jesus. It's something else. I've seen a still evening kick up 45 mile an hour winds in no time. If that happens this summer, you'll really be in for it. Well, that's no fun. Jog a little bit. Work off those extra pounds. Fun fact, I can see my feet. I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Ugh, thanks, Mom. What kind of name is Forrest Burns anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? Butts. <laughs> I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. Well, Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a trendsetter. Flo Butts? Oh, man, that's even worse. Yeah, well, it's still better than Forrest Burns. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, you know, uh, I, I don't know. Just used to spend a lot of time with our dog, Mayhem. Mayhem? What kind of name is that? He was a German Shepherd, big as a truck. So, why not call him Chevy? Well, we, uh, we walked out of the shelter and there was some graffiti on a trash can and it said, Dicko Mayhem, and, um... He walked over and peed all over it, and there you go. <laughs> That's a really cute story? It is what it is. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, yo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Should I tell her? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. Uh, hey, your button is still down. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? We'll listen now. All right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, I, I thought about it, and that story is cute. And, um, sorry, but, but you said we? You, you owned him with someone? <sighs> that would be my wife. Julia. Oh, like, like your wife, or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. But you're here. Oh no. Yeah, all right. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I, I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. God, okay, Henry, chill out. Too. Henry needs to loosen the fuck up. Let's see, where am I going here? That's not what I wanted. Okay, so it looks like it doesn't really matter which, where I go within this area, but... Yeah, there's the line. Okay, we can see the telephone line. There's a fair lookout. So we just follow this trail, and it will just get us straight there. Looks like we can walk all the way to the base of the mountain her tower is on. So we'll just take this down there. And figure it out. I 
there's a phone line. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Young trees. Hmm. Interesting. Sparse down here. Make sure I stop doing that. Is that a house? Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? I do believe. Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay, then. Ooh. Ooh. And is this the cache whose code is not 1234? Oh, unfortunate. A hat. Korea. found an old hat from a Korean war vet. You'd be surprised how many former service members take this gig. Well, makes sense. I imagine if you've been through war, you probably can't get enough silence. So this was an old fire lookout. That got burned. And in the basement... So we can see already where the line is cut, right up here. Just a matter of getting over there. There's a firebox right there. Pretty early then, huh? As soon as the sun comes up. 
Forest Service really frowns on us putting up curtains for some reason. I'll get used to it. Been a bit of a night owl for a long time now. Oh, it's fine. I mean, fires don't really start until 11 a.m. or so. Seriously? No! Good lord! I just thought maybe it was one of those things like how earthquakes only happen at sunrise and sunset. Oh, uh, that's not true either, Henry. Jeez, we're really letting anyone in these days. Oh boy. Uh, I was supposed to go the other way. I uh, kind of went the wrong way, but I wanted to see what's in here. Kidoki note. Yes. Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Pretty meaningless letter. Probably should have started keeping those a while ago, but whatever. Pop the map. There you go. Uh, let's see if this goes around this thing here, this little outcropping. And okay, it does not. Okay, we're gonna hop back down and go onto the outcropping. More beer cans. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. How could these girls be so stupid? <sighs> Trust me, I never underestimate the stupidity of a drunk teenager. Also, I never underestimate the balls of a drunk young woman, having been one. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath.
I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Let's check the map here. So... So this cuts back in. I can follow... The trail... Oh shit. Follow the trail this way. And that will take me to cache 241, and then back toward the lake. Or I can cut back under here. I think I want to go this way. Let's see what's this way first. Just in case there's something interesting. I can clear this. Oh, I can't clear this. Blocked. Interesting. Okay then. Yeah. Yeah, they've got all sorts of notes on them. Ooh, whoa. They've got all sorts of notes on them. Like, like right here, I got Hawk's Rest. And then uh, I'll put notes on them. Or Henry will put notes on them from time to time. Medicine Wheel. I'll put blockages on his notes. Mark uh, hookups for rope. Lots of useful stuff on the maps. It's really snowing outside. Hey Clinton, are you here? Uh, yeah, that, Esther, that map actually was, if we look at the map again here, it was a close-up of this, of the Beartooth Point area, and so it was like a, it was a very specific close-up region. Um, I didn't notice it on, when I copied it down, but I can probably stop back there. Clint, you getting the snow right now? It's a fucking blizzard outside. So that will go to thoroughfare, and then... Yeah, I think that was the plaque, the blocked path that we were just looking at. Um after we went through that small cave. Yeah, 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 I saw that on, on the map that we had drawn. I'm just gonna kinda explore a little bit over here. I don't think there is a cache. Oh, there is one, cool. And this is the supply drop. Yeah. This way. This is what I expected. Canyon. Wow, big canyon. Do you see anything from yours? Like, you know, like clues as to where they could be? <laughs> clues. I really like your enthusiasm for mystery. I'm just doing my job. I like it. I, I do. I just, I, I can't wait for you to give these girls a piece of your... Our mind, minds, collective. But no, no clues. I, I can't see anything from here. Oh, okay. There's like a rope bridge. Sort of. What the fuck? What the hell? Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. 
Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado! I gotta get out of here! A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes! Holy moly, I need to call this in! Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado! He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility? There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years? You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life? Okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. No dice. Man. I tried. I really did. But she still resists. It's a neat little path here. Scoopy doopy doo. Hey, a backpack. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Oof. Am I going to be able to report that it is Brian Goodwin's backpack? Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's, there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this, this, uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. <sighs> He was a lookout? <laughs> yeah, kinda, I guess. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned, and um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have uh, fun here. with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would oh, scar some of the a photo dome okay. employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? <sighs> Kind of nestled into that corner there. I didn't see it. Interesting. Bear sightings five. It looks like there's a path here. Through the mountains. Or something. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. Whoa. Maybe All they're right, leaving then. me an entire creature piece by piece.
Yeah, they're pretty old. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? We were scared shitless. We went straight to the doctor after her first spell or whatever. They diagnosed her and we were both just very scared. Can't really tell when Julia is scared. She just gets quiet. She was very quiet. Smoke. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Oh, I did say I would collect a them, huh? Plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Gotta take some photos. Now, it looks like I'm gonna have to go the other way. So, I would imagine I wanna go back up this way. Yeah, and go around, because it looks like it's on the other side of this uh, bluff here. Which would mean, oh, this is interesting. Which would mean that I have to go to the Wapiti Meadow. Unless I cannot. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Who are they keeping out of here? And why? Ah, uh, jeez. I don't know. Maybe it's biologists, you know? Well, they don't want people traipsing on their precious lichens. What's a lichen? Well, wouldn't you lichen to know? Oh my god, goodbye. I'll ask next time I talk to someone, but <laughs> that'll probably be a few days. Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Hmm, well, having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. I, I don't even know how I would get in. It's really strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. Hey, you remember that guy from yesterday, the guy I saw hiking home? Ah, the completely unmotivated vandal. Yeah, that guy. Go on. Maybe he was from this fence place. Hmm, from the land of the fence. Yes. Jeez. You know what? I'll make a note. You might be on to... something. Interesting. Well, I guess we know which way I'm going. It's kind of weird. So, how'd you meet? We met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. 
I did make the first move, though. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. Hmm. Okay. Looks like I'm gonna end up going back to Thunder Canyon. Weird that that fence is there. fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. You want me to go back and see what I can do? No. I want this guy to have to roll his lazy ass all the way out here. It flapjack is a choice phrase, by the way. It really fits the bill in this case. It's a really interesting uh, cliff there. I wasn't expecting that. Hope I can get back to Thunder Canyon all right. Yeah, okay, here we go. top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Ah, oh, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. Music cues are interesting. Why? Why is there a music cue? start a fire. I'm down in Thunder Canyon. I'm not seeing that smoke anymore. Oh, it's still burning away. Try heading west from where you are. If you loop past the lake, there should be a trail that'll take you further south. Thanks, that helps. Just atmosphere. What are you going to do when the fire season wraps up? Are you going to go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. I don't know. I, I haven't really thought about it. Right now, I'm trying to hunt down some vandals, and I don't even know what I'm going to do when I find them. I'm not thinking very far ahead. You should go see her. She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents, I uh, think they always thought she could do better. And... That I could have done a better job looking after. Fortunately, there aren't any guns. Fuck that! I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. It is definitely getting thicker. Unless I'm just getting closer.
This is the game... what? Come on, Ernie, I know you got this. Oh yeah, pretty much. Oh yeah, so it's down in that area. Uh, we can't take the lake down there, unfortunately, but we can go through this trail in the f to the east, and then we can follow it south uh, through that rope point. And that should do it. Oh, I'll stomp the fuck out of that fire. Just you wait. I mean, it is pretty much walking simulator, but it's like walking and talking simulator, and then also it looks really pretty, like this. Wow! Beauty! Nature! I'm gonna take a picture. Such art. See, there's birds. Great sound design. You can hear the wind rustling. I'm wondering what that chime sound from earlier was. That was... I definitely did not imagine that. I love the... how... F like the flimsiness of the map. How it kind of just flops around. I wonder if I'll run into a bear. Hooray, rope hook! Yeah, I know, right? It'll just blow right out of my hands. Wouldn't surprise me. I'm gonna go a little bit farther and then I have to stop for a little while, unfortunately. Hopefully I can play some more today. We'll see. If I stay along the wall here, there should be a cache. Looks like it wouldn't matter much anyway. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. 
He was in the army. That's weird. She's off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Odd that I can target her tower from where I am. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. I gotta take pictures. How was the other branch? What did you think of it? Compared to the one you just, uh, heard? down here which branch was it yeah both are depressing it is very beautiful down here I don't see that plume of smoke anymore I feel like it would be on my right now but it's not Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. That was a nice little find. Wait, this is going. You wouldn't think these kids drinking anything but really beer. Nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. hurt. It seems like it's a, an unfortunate trend and that everyone is an alcoholic. Thankfully Henry isn't. When I first heard about this game I had a I had a feeling he'd be an alcoholic or something, but I don't think that's the case. Odd. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like... 
I have entered the team I'm gonna zone. Pick him up. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Where are they? They're gone, for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? They're threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? Look, I didn't do anything to them, but it looks like someone had it out for them. Then why do they think it's you? Fuck, I don't know. Huh. Hey, I don't. I believe you. Come on, Henry. All right. All right, it's just, it's weird what happened out here. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. Hey, they're not there. coming back. And we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Dear Psycho. Oh, oh, okay. Sure. Hmm. What's the wrong way? Flying boards downstairs. Do 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 do. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh -huh. Hey, you asked. Okay, well... That gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. <laughs> oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Uh, I don't know. I like to look nice, usually. Well, I try now, I guess. Hmm. Had a bit of a schlubby period, did we? Yeah, a good 25, 30 years, yeah. But, um, now you'll put on a, a clean shirt? Yeah. Well, I, I have one that I got for Christmas, actually. Just, um, it's navy with white buttons, but I, I like it. I don't Where wear am it I going to find other show. boards? Well, it sounds right just here. perfect. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. What do we see? I know it's not easy. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. You're what? Is, is that okay? Ooh. Uh... Don't... don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Ooh. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. They're, uh, they're steely. Cold, hard stare. Hmm... like a Siberian husky. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Cute. 
Where's this other board? Oh, this is nice. I need one more. Did something just... Of course it's right here. What's this? Is. It's big. Neat. Oh, beautiful cistern. Oh, there's one right here too. Damn, there's fucking boards all over the place. Not bad at this game. I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Day nine. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? I might never leave. Well, uh, I called with some bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Day 15. And this. Henry. Henry, wake up. out of bed and pick up the radio what do you want hey you big dumb idiot whoa you're a big dumb idiot oh baby you sound tired hmm I am are you having a nice time? Yeah, it's good here. It's beautiful, you know? <sighs> That's great, Henry. Really great. 
right. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. What the fuck? I didn't need that. All that shit on my map is gone. He undrew my map. Is it too oh, yeah, much of a pain supplies. in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> so, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night? You were sleeping, I guess, and... All I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Oh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. Um, he was what a driller down happening? Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And, for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here, I lied, and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over ten years. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. <sighs> I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Oh. That was revealing. Yes, Clinton, what is it? What were you going to say? Were you going to talk about the fact that I slept talk to Delilah in the middle of the night? She said it was endearing. Hey! I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think oh. I am? Yeah, I can't take everyone else's. Well, that's a big time skip. You've got a front row seat for what here we go. the fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Uh, 
Uh, Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. <laughs> I was kidding. Mm, no, you were not. You're sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah Fire. Okay, what then? Mm, how about my middle name, June? The June Fire. Even though it's July. <laughs> I like it. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You would like it there. Should we smooze? Or schmooze? We're gonna schmooze. If I was there with you, I'm sure I would like it a lot. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available, but... I want you to know, well... Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um... Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. We could sit outside. We could talk. Without these radios. We could, um... You know... Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> what could we do? Well... Let me tell you. fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Huh. Problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Come on, please. Yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clinton is, uh, correct in this one. As, uh, <laughs> fucked up as it is to say that. <laughs> 